Hi, you guys. <clears throat> I just want to make a quick video. I did have something else in mind. I might come back. I, I want you guys' opinion on what I was going to make a video about today. Um, I'll probably wait one more day to talk about that. But y'all, listen. <clears throat> I was just thinking yesterday that <sighs> I think I'm like starting to see things like what my spiritual eyes like while I'm awake um it's not not it's not anything new um I will say that when I first um got filled with the Holy Spirit I did have I, I would hear and see a lot of things to the point where I almost, I asked God, it was, it was, at that point it was like, I, it was too much. Um, or I, at the time I didn't feel equipped or even worthy to really be seeing and hearing all those things and uh, I didn't feel I was strong enough to handle the things that I was seeing and hearing. Um, but just in the past couple of days, and I think last night, and I know a couple of weeks ago, someone commented on my video, and I told them what I saw in the spirit um, while I was on my back porch. I don't want to mention it again right now, just because, <sighs> to me, some of those things are that big a deal but I think we're allowed to see in the spirit um those of you who know what I'm talking about to be able to pray against some things and um not just be seeing it just to be seeing it so um I was just and I watched a couple of videos today and I heard one person say they were experiencing spiritual warfare and also uh, which we all are right now but you know um and also I watched a call for uprisings video. They were talking about Pokemon having a basically a Halloween edition of little demon gamer thingies. Um, y'all don't play that and don't let y'all's children play that. There are there are some good videos on it. Um, um I watched someone who was on the Prophecy Club. He was an ex Satanist. He exposed the Pokemon game. Um, in detail, he, he, I mean, he really went into detail, so if you're interested, just, um, look it up, <sighs> um, or if I find it, I'll, I'll put it below in the video, in the description box, so anyway, y'all, I, I was just sitting here thinking, my birthday's coming up on Saturday, and I'll be 36, if the Lord, uh, lets me live to that day, and I was just sitting here thinking about, you know, I got, did my hair today, and I, I waxed my mustache today. <laughs> and I was thinking about getting a massage, like I usually do, like an hour and a half massage from one of my coworkers, and you know, maybe I'll go um, support my cousin. She just started aesthetic school, so maybe do let her do a facial, get rid of this pimple that looks like it's in my third eye. I rebuke this pimple in the name of Jesus. But um you know, I don't I don't go out anymore just because just for example, um <clears throat> besides the fact that here in Charleston everybody seems to be like dying in the clubs and you know, getting shot up. So um I've been out just maybe twice in the past few years, but um before that those last two times I was driving home from a club that was about 30 minutes away from my house and when I'm when I was going out I usually limit myself to two drinks um in the past five years before that it was just uh, you know drink and didn't really care about driving unfortunately so um on my way home I was driving on the road and I saw a vision open vision I was driving y'all I only had two drinks of 
the name of the club that I went to. And, and it was Blue Magic. The name of the club was Blue Magic. And it was in blue. And it kind of looked like a, a fluorescent sign. It kind of looked like, I don't know if they had a sign or not. Maybe they did. <sighs> yeah, they did. <clears throat> One of those fluorescent signs. But what I saw, it was, it was the letters written in blue. And so I said, well... You know, I'm, of course I'm at home. It was late, maybe like one o'clock in the morning, and I just went to sleep. Not really too much thought about it. But weeks later, people, um, that club closed down, and I want to say they had a shooting right in front of it, and you know, other cl clubs opened, and they, it was just a series of people getting shot in the club. So, um, and like I said, I only went to the club like two more times after that because people. Um, two people that I knew had birthday parties or something. So I don't go out to the clubs anymore. And I just, y'all, this is the end days and I don't really want to be like out at night. It's just so much demonic activity that's being on the rise. And for me, I'm seeing things again, I believe, in, in the spiritual. And, and God said he would pour his spirit and people will see, have dreams and visions. I think that includes open eye visions. Um, I'm not really scared. I, you know, I just, I, I just feel an increase of it now in the past month or so. Um, and I, and I think last year too, or the beginning, it might've been last year, it might've been the beginning of this year. I had, I, I was leaving church and it, it probably was the beginning of this year because I got a new car. Um, I was, I just got out of service, y'all. I'm just sharing, just, and I'll get back to my point in a minute. I had just got out of service. I might have been first Sunday or something. It was a, a real, we had a real, the Holy Spirit was flowing. We had a real high time in the Lord. Thank God I go to a church where God is in control of the services and we allow the Spirit to flow however He wants to. But, um, I got in the car to go home, and as soon as I turned out of the the church parking lot and got on the, the main highway, I heard a crash in my spirit. It was loud. I, for a split second, I looked in my rear view mirror, and I, I literally, it took me just a, another split second to realize that it wasn't actually happening. But I heard it. I said, Lord, I immediately said, Lord, whoever that was, I pray that they survive this crash. And I hope that nothing happens to them. I hope they didn't die or something. So y'all, uh, three days later, I was running some errands. I was trying to get some things done. And I'm sitting at the light. And long story short, this 90 like 94 year old I'm not kidding y'all she's 94 she was driving and she actually did she she was sitting behind me her foot on the brake and then she somehow pushed the accelerating the accelerator and thinking it was the brake and she hit me in the back and the same exact sound that I heard in that crash uh, when I left church was when she hit my car it sounded so loud just as it did in the spirit when I heard it. Um, I thought my car was just tore up from the floor up. It wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't make a big fuss up about it at first. Um, because she, she hit me and then she just swerved and ran off into the parking lot. You know, I thought it was some young punk. So I was kind of mad when I was on the phone with the police. I was like, y'all need to go in the parking lot and check and see who this guy is. But it ended up being an old lady and... Long story short, I wasn't hurt. She wasn't hurt. She was a little shaken up. Um, and that was it. So, y'all, um, I think God's, just back to my point, I think God's pouring out his spirit. And I'm just thinking that this Halloween, y'all, is not going to be a good Halloween to be out, y'all. Um, the veil is going to be at, at its thinnest. And... Also, we already see the craziness. Uh, I think some of this craziness, <clears throat> rightfully so, is the spiritual um, manifesting in the natural. 
with the elections, with the, the corruption, with the this, with the shootings, with the terrorist attacks, just naturally so uh, the spiritual is um, manifesting in the natural. Just this year and for the past year, it's just been crazy. So I don't think it's going to be a good idea for anyone. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't even watch scary movies because, like I said, I see things in the in the spirit when I'm wide awake. I don't want to go and, and, and watch a scary movie. Or I don't let my son um, celebrate Halloween because when we did, you know, he wanted to go out with his friends. He was 10 or 11 He's 13 now, he's 9, 10, 11, and whatever, and he wanted to do what all the other kids would do. And for those years, he experienced, he had a nightmare every holiday. I mean, every Halloween, every night. When he came back home, he had a nightmare for like two years straight. So I said, you know, when he got to the age to where I could explain it to him, um, I don't really hide much from him. Um, as far as spiritual things, I actually try to instruct them and, and but let him know not to be scared. But I, I think this year might just be super high. We got CERN opening up, you know, portals. They've got pictures of that. And I actually had a word of knowledge about CERN um, basically affecting um, our, our, our atmosphere. I can't remember what it is verbatim, and I don't want to misquote it. Um, I do have it right, written down. But y'all, just stay prayed up. Uh, plead the blood of Jesus over your, over your homes all the time. And um, I'm going to try to keep this video short. And um, I, I might come back and make another video later on today or tomorrow. I'm going to register, y'all. Um, y'all stay strong. Uh, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of y'all's household. Um and over your children um and i pray that we're all worthy to leave this place um it's about to get crazy i can feel it everybody else can feel it too all right y'all have a blessed day and i'll come back